Okay, I'll be back in five minutes. I don't want any talking, no fooling around, no animal noises, no nothing. You're in detention. See ya. It's gone, right? So what you in for, man? Shh. Not much. Shh. Hey, you got a leak or what? We're trying to talk here. Oh, we're not supposed to talk. We're in detention. So if you're so good, how'd you end up in here with us criminals? Hey, Book, I'm talking to you. So what are you in for, man? Uh, not much. Some dork says I brought booze into school. Who says? Oh, some teacher. Says he found it in my locker. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Hey, what are you laughing about? <laughs> hey, yourself, man. That was pretty stupid. Beer in your locker? Beer? Yeah, beer. So tell me not to touch the stuff. Yeah, I have, but I don't, I don't like to. It messes with my head. That's the idea, dude. Who wants a clean head anyway? Oh, no. You might actually have a thought then. What? Are you really a homo sapien, or are you just pretending to be one for the day? You call me a fag? <laughs> I... <coughs> What's so freaking funny? <laughs> nothing, nothing, man. So what are you doing when you get out of here? Oh, the kegger. The kegger? Yeah, man. There's one bitchin' kegger up at the point tonight. God. Okay. So you gonna be there? I don't think so, man. Remember? Me and my messy head. Hey, that's not all that's on tap. You know what I mean. No, what? Books? Studying? No, man. Chicks. Babes. You can have your choice, man. This is disgusting. And... Now you just wait. Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What I think, man, is that it's disgusting, just like she said. What? What? The way you talk about girls. The whole way you see women. Hey, nobody's forcing anybody. Oh, yeah, right. I'm sure. Hey, you know, that's not always very clear. Especially with booze around. Hey man, what's with you booze, babes? Don't you like anything? I just hope everybody's being safe. Uh, you mean drinking and driving? <laughs> yeah, that too. But I mean, I mean safe sex. Hey, sex isn't like skydiving or anything. What's the problem? Do you even know what I'm talking about? What? What? Birth control, man. Disease. The big C. The big what? Condoms, man. Condoms? Your species probably knows them as rubbers. Rubbers? Yeah, rubbers. The only method of birth control that can give you pretty good protection against disease, too. And, except for not having intercourse at all. Of course, that's the, the best method, of course. Of course. Um, condoms? Are you in a trance or something, man? Hey, why would I want to get some babe all hot and bothered and then stop and wrap myself up in some rubber clown costume. So the babe doesn't have babies. Hey, that's not my problem. You know, you're an asshole. Who's an asshole? You are. You are. And worse than that, you could be a dead asshole. Hey, well, what a great way to go. OD'd on sex. AIDS isn't a great way to go. Have you ever seen anyone die of AIDS? It's gruesome, man. And sad and unnecessary. Don't play with your life. Yeah. You know, that is a pretty meager life. So, condoms are really the only method that do both? Well, other ones like the diaphragm and contraceptive jellies and foams, they can do a little, but even those are better if the guy uses a condom, a condom with spermicide on it, even. What is this, freaking health class? What are you against health, man? You want to die, man? No more parties. It's so weird. I mean, where do you go to... How do you get? Well, you can you can get them at almost any drugstore, or the health clinic downtown, or. So why are you so interested, egghead? I didn't even think you had a body. You know, I wouldn't tell you if you were the last, whatever you are. Would you tell me? Well, I've got a boyfriend, and we've been seeing each other for about a year. It's getting pretty serious. Oh, baby. That is just what I expect from you. Oh yeah. Shut up, man. That's why I'm here, actually. The librarian caught us making out in the stacks. Oh, and this is great. Two eggheads making little chickies. We weren't doing anything. I mean, we're not doing anything yet. Not intercourse or anything. But when, or even if we decide to, I want to know ahead of time what to use. It's a good idea. It's hard to think when you're in the clinch. So, you use these things all the time, man? Actually, I don't. I mean, I'm going out with somebody right now, but we just don't feel like adding sex to it. 
not intercourse. Anyway. Oh man, I can't believe it! All this talk. Oh, shove don't... it, Conan! I think that's really mature. I think that's really mature. Yeah, whatever. So, you never finished telling us where you got these things. You well, want to know? Like I said, drugstores, health clinics, and. You never told us why you were in here. Yeah. Hand out comments to people who ask. <laughs> in math class. <laughs> You think you're gay? Maybe. Maybe. And if I am, you have a problem with it? Maybe. I'm not saying I am or I'm not, I'm just saying maybe. Maybe, maybe. Is that all I can say? Maybe? It's something definite. Either you are or you aren't. You are or you aren't. Will you listen to yourself? This isn't just me we're talking about, it's us. Okay. We've both got different opinions. Let's state them. Oh, nice. Very logical. Logic is what we're dealing with here. If it is, if it were, I'd be illogical. The issue at hand is emotion. Or if you want to be a cynic, the issue is physical. Oh, please. How can something as sick as you be an emotion? That's it. I've had it with you. You self-righteous jock. If we were as different as you'd like to think, we wouldn't be having this conversation. How about that time in camp? The other two guys in the tent, they were experimenting. They had sex with each other. Tell me you didn't watch. Tell me you didn't hear. Tell me you weren't interested. I'll tell you it's a load of shit. It's time to look at the real issue here, my friend. The question is not, are you gay anymore? It's, are we gay? Well, I'm not gay! Are you sure about that? Are you absolutely sure? We're the same person. And if I have doubts... Shut up! Just shut up, fag! A little edgy, aren't we? Be careful where you tread. I'm calling me a fag. You also call yourself one. Just get out of my life! I can't. I am your life. Without me, you would have no life. But with you, my life is ruined. Not ruined, just changed. Now instead of being attracted to women, we're attracted to men. Or not. Who knows, I could be wrong. You're but saying you fantasize about men? Dude, you're sick. Not fantasies, just, well, thoughts, doubts, questions. Don't you ever wonder? Condemning something, something society says is wrong just because it's different. Narrow-mindedness. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a girlfriend, Kelly, remember? So I don't need to experiment. That doesn't mean anything at all. Just because you have a girlfriend doesn't mean you're straight. Well, we have three older sisters, so I know what women want. Nobody knows what women want. Nobody knows what anybody wants. We're all different people. We all want different things. <coughs> but look at me. I'm in sports. I'm the captain of the football team. I can't be gay. Well, that's a cop-out I've ever heard one. And what are you implying? I'm implying that none of your other activities influence whether you're gay or not. Gay painters, gay weightlifters, gay football players. No difference. That's not true. How many gay football players do we know? How many gay football players would feel safe enough to come straight out and tell us they're gay? They're afraid to. It's called homophobia. And you have a bad case of it. But I take showers with all the guys on the football team, and I don't want to have sex with them. Sex and lust aren't the only things to homosexuality. A big part of being gay is when you love someone of the same sex. Not just you want to see them buck naked in the shower room. You know that. How? I'll tell you how. I'll just take one word. John, that's how. What? John. Don't you feel something stir inside you when we walk past him in the halls? We can't keep our eyes off him. And, just, and, and John has just always been there for us. Whenever we're in trouble, he's there. He always knows the right thing to say. Remember when we broke our leg in football practice? John and the coach carried us off the field. We felt safe in his arms, as if nothing bad could ever happen to us again. Face it, we love John just like we love Kelly. But, but what? But, don't some people think it could be hereditary? Yeah, some people do. Some scared people still think it could be a disease. But if it's hereditary, that would mean I didn't choose to be. That would mean it's not my it's fault. It's not your fault. There's nobody to be at fault for. It's just, it's just the way you are. It's just the way we are. That's okay. That's, I'm tired. I'm tired of answering all your questions. 
I have got my doubts. You have yours. You don't have to defend yourself. Neither do I. We'll have to deal with them. But it'll take time and a lot of patience. I don't have to help you, but I want to. If you need me, ask. Dude, I don't want to be gay. So, you think you're gay? Maybe.